Okay, hello. I'm really happy to be there to present you my project uh, called Zone Project. And I will present all the project, everything you would know about this. First, I have a problem. When I'm on Twitter, my timeline is really, really big. I can't follow everything. Who has this problem? Every, everybody. It's really a big problem. How can you sort all these information? How can you say, I want to see one thing, one other thing, don't see other thing? You ne we need to have solutions making which will make this sort. We need to have solution ready to make sort in order to don't read everything. And it's what I want to work on. But it's not only on Twitter, it's on all information. When you see, uh, when you read, uh, you read newspaper, you need to, you need to see, okay, I don't want to read this page, over page, you need to have your personal newspaper. Or another solution is to buy everything, all newspaper and read everything every morning. But it's not good solutions. We need to make this quickly. In informatics, if we want to make uh, news forecasting, we need to have solutions to make this efficiently. And it's really important. But there are solutions. There are a lot of solutions. First, you can trust providers. You can buy a newspaper that you like and say, okay, it's good information. I have just to read this. You can go on Google News, on other websites, to have these information. But it's not your information. In order to have your information, you can follow RSS feeds. You have aggregators. You say, okay, I want news coming from one website, from another website and say, okay, you will give me all the news on a page and I, I will read everything for this website. But it's not making filtering. It's not, for me, a good solution because, because I will need to read everything on this, on this aggregator and it's not pretty good solutions. Finally, I found one solution called Yahoo Pipe. It's really easy to use. As you can see, you just have to make box, to make link between box, and it works, but I think you don't know how to use this. And <laughs> we really need to understand this. But it works. You can say, I want maybe 10 or 15 RSS feeds. I want you to, to take only news to, with this word in the news, with another word, making sort, making other things, making random, maybe. And you will have your news. You will have your, fi your filtering. But it's called Yahoo Pipe, and it's in Yahoo. It's not on your computer. OK, I have problem. I need to work on mining. Why mining? Because when I'm filtering news, I can't say I just want this word, this other word. I need to say I want, I want this information. I want information talking about this person, about another person. And I really need to work on mining. Other problem, I need an open solution. My solution can't be hosted by Google or Yahoo. It ne really need to be in my computer. I need to be, it needs to be for me, by me, on my computer. Okay, why? I can't make this, so I can't make these solutions. I was student uh, in an engineering school. I can make code. I have, I have study uh, graph analysis. I can make everything about this. I can make web hosting. I love open source. Why not making these solutions? Okay, I start to code and I made my solutions. It's pretty, pretty beautiful. I love this. It's my solutions. It's working for me. I have my news. I have my filtering. I have everything I wanted. But maybe it's the same problem than Yahoo Pipes. It's not beautiful. And I say, OK, I have my solution. It's worked for me. I use this. But I say, OK, how can I make better? How can I make a solution for other persons, for you? And I see I seen a, a contest made by Inuia. They say, OK, we give you one year full time working on an um, open source project. And you will, you will manage the project as you want. You will make open source. You will go to, to conferences in order to make pub, um, pub for Inria, say Inria is good, everything like this. But you will work as you want on open source. And since five months, I'm working on this. And I will present you what 
I'm working on and how can it work? Vatek. Okay, I have my feeds. Like uh, with an other feeds aggregator, I need to read these feeds. But now I will make better. I will annotate my news. How can I annotate news? How can I annotate news? I will use annotator. And I, an annotator will take a text. Here, for example, I have a text coming from BBC News. I, uh, the, um, the services will read this text and will underline things important, will underline uh, named entities. He can, say, he can read that it's talking about David Cameron. He will see that David Cameron is, um, is named two times as David Cameron first and Mr. Cameron in the second time. It will say, okay, it's really important. This person is really important in this text. He will see other things like it's calling about it's talking about European Union. It will say, okay, it's, it's a news talking about David Cameron and European Union. And with these annotators, I will need able to make, um, to work on mining on my text. I I'm, I'm able to put a sense of all the text I'm analysis. Okay, I have this, but I can make a lot, a lot more. Why not using open data? With open data, you have all the things organized in order to be in order to be in, um, analysis by by ordinators. With open data, you have semantic web. The aim of this of this uh, of this sub of this research topic is to take all the information sources like Wikipedia and to link them one between over one and to make ordinate and, and to put an to be able with computer to make analysis about text. For example, it was talking about David Cameron, but with Wikipedia, I know that David Cameron is a politician. And I I'm now able to say that, that my news is talking about politics. And I need to be able to add a lot of meanings on my text. And it's really important in order to make my filtering. And other things, I can make data mining on my news. I just take all the news and I make, and I will regroup all the news similar one between other one. And like this, I can't, I can't say, okay, all these news is talking, are talking about this subject, all other news are talking about another subject. And like this, I can make more and more about my news and about filtering. Okay, now I have all my news, I just need to store them. And for this, I use no, no SQL that passes, called um, Virtuoso, which is a graph-oriented databases you <coughs> use in Semantic Web. It's it works really fine, and it enables me to make mining, to organize my data, and it works really efficiently in, this, in my project. Okay, I have my databases, I have my information, and now I need to, to, to write and web interfaces in order to see my news. I have my topics, I just need, I need, <coughs> I just need to translate my, my questions to the computer. For this, I use Spackle request. It's come, it's come from uh, Web Semantic, and the aim is to, is to write requests like in MySQL, and to, to ask for databases, for graph databases. Here, I have the example talking about David Cameron. I can say, I want all information talking about this person, about talking about European Union, and it will, gi it will give me all this information. And it's w very efficient. It helped me to have all my information with the filtering on person. It's not just on words, it's really on, con on, uh, on context. I can't say I want the person, David Cameron, the organization, European Union. It's really efficiently on this. Now, I have my response, I have the information I want, and I just need to give this to a client as a RSS feed or as a web interfaces. And like this, I have my solutions. <coughs> and here is the solutions working with two workflow. The annotation workflow on, a, on maybe on a computer, on a server, and the and the client, the web client, or for mobile phone, for everything you want on another site. Now I will present you a short demo. Okay, 
Here is the solutions. You can see all the news. You can see the annotations. And we will click maybe on one annotation for uh, White House. We have all news talking now about White House. We have RSS feeds, Twitter news, and all is annotated. We have some pages. We can see everything. Now I will add an um, I can click to see the news talking about uh, Maison Blanche. And I will say, OK, I, will also, I want also news talking about Amit Kazi. And I have all this news coming from my RSS feeds and coming from Twitter. And OK, it works. I have my solutions. Now I can make more things with open data. I want all news talking about the department uh, Ile de France. I can check all these information. I can make more things. And I can really make my filtering like this. OK, it's not much more beautiful than the first versions, but I'm really working on this. And I think we will have, in one, in one or two months, a really better solution on this. Uh, it was the demo. You can try it. Go, try it. I really need user. I really need to know how you want to use these solutions. We have a really big solution. We, we just need to find usage, to find how you want to use these solutions. It's really important because now I, use, I can use for my usage, but I think there is a lot of, lot of usage you would like interested in. You can use these solutions for medical, for medical news feeding, for news forecasting, for a lot of things. And I think we need to know on what we want to use this. Last slide. Uh, for me, it's really a good project. Uh, I love working on this every morning, going to work. It's really fine. Uh, if one wants to work on this project, we have an internship. It's, uh, it's really, I think, a good solution. It's fine. Thank you. Thank uh, you for sharing with us this uh, new software. Maybe time for one question. Yeah. Kind of tools? Yes, oh. it's come from uh, NERD recognition, you know, uh, named oh. entity recognition. So ah, yes. Ah. Uh, the question yeah. is, uh, what kind of tool do you use in your annotator to extract name entity? Yeah, we use uh, solutions coming from na name entity recognition domain. We, I use, uh, personally, I use Wikimeta. Or there are other solutions. You can go to NERD, N E R D dot dot org, and there are a lot of solutions for this for these applications. Yes. There are uh, there are not a lot of open source solutions, but we are working on with uh, with Inria in order to have a solution working in French and in English called Spotlight. Uh, it's a, a solution coming from Wikipedia. And we will try to translate this in French in order to work for my project. Yes, thanks. It's really powerful, your solution. Yeah. And another question is about uh, uh, the topics that uh, the user can use to select the news. The, if yeah. uh, you, you ever t uh, think about uh, some, um, some criteria to suggest uh, the topics uh, or some other things uh, about this, uh, because I think it's a big problem that people can select what they are interested in. Yeah. One thing I really want to see in the solutions is making a language in order to make, fil in order to make categories, meta categories. Uh, the us user will say, OK, I create a category with this thing, this other thing, not another thing. And like this, we will be able to make meta categories for things. And all the, all the things we are uh, we are using for this filtering. It's come only for from uh, Semantic Web. You, we just use this, but and we have a lot of things that we can use. If we use other annotators, we can work on medical medical news on a lot of things. But it's really important to have these annotators in order to have a lot of information about news. You're welcome. <laughs>